Okay, a short look at the key property in React and why it's important and uh, the fun side effects we can get if we ignore them or just use different keys. So the setup I have here is I have one column um, with uh, just the proper keys. Uh, each element has its unique keys, one column with no keys, one column where the key is always the same one and a key with just purely random and a column with just purely random um, keys. The actual data being rendered, that is the data per cell, that is the input data of the original prop um, is um, going to be displayed here. We have the ability to add extra keys and we have the ability to rotate our values. Now I'm going to refresh this because uh, there were quite a few spoilers here, but um, when, so, so at first adds the um, next index at the top of the array. It's just convenient. It, it shows it better what, what's going on. Um, and we can convince ourselves that, yeah, let, let's just play with it a bit. So if we uh, change the state of our components, let's, let's say we increase every one of them just by some amount, let's say we increase them all by four and we just rotate. Rotate me pops the last element and adds it in the beginning. So we rotate it with the proper keys. Everything happens exactly as we expected. The element flips down, its state remains the same and um, the, the order is also adjusted. With no keys, we see that um, there's no reordering happening. Um, it's, it's still showing zero at the second position, even though it's at the first position and one at the first, po uh, first position, even though it's at the second position. Um, fixed keys actually behaves exactly the same. Like there doesn't appear to be a difference between them. And random just reset our state. So React destroyed the actual component and recreated it, whereas here it reused it so we can uh, imagine the key as a identity rather than a ordering mechanism. Um, it al allows React to recognize which that, that this component exists and it uh, associate the correct state with it. Um, if we add a first one here, we'll expect the second one to be on top. Uh, we see that we have here another strange thing going on. There's a one at the bottom and a one at the top. It, it's still got the increment count. So it didn't touch these, the, the first two. It just reused whatever it had before. It didn't update them or re, uh, yeah, it didn't update them. But, but it did add a new element and it added the last one here. Um, it, it's going to be more obvious once we rotate a bit more. Uh, the random one, again, has them in the right order, but it resets the state every time we, we do anything. Uh, if we add another one, it also reset all of the states. Um, we see this still behaves quite as we expected. If we just add to these, for example, or, or this one, and we rotate, nothing happens again. But if we add, then a three shows up. So it's always adding the last one, because that's the new element that React discovers. The other ones had the same key beforehand. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the actual code. Um, ignore all the spoilers on what I'm trying to work currently on, but this is a fairly simple setup. We have a simple state of our array here. Um, these are just the values uh, being displayed. That's the array down here. And then we render them out with a different key strategies. And there's our add first button, which just adds the next to the um, start of the array and our rotate, which just rotates the first key, uh, the first element to the last place. <clears throat> and then we just output our data. So how does our um, strategy look like? So the, the, uh, our component itself is a fairly simple component. It's just got a state, which is the value it was created with as in a use state and it got a click count that it's, it's just a state we can manipulate. Um, so we see we have our click count here, which just the button just increases it 
and then we just display the click count here and here the original input. It should also work if we just use data here, I think. Um, So if it'll reuse the properties correctly, if we use data here, but it'll still preserve the wrong state. So it's still associating the wrong state. And that's because the way React associates um, state with components is by call order. So the first component rendered here, it has no choice but to rely on the call order here, gets the state of the previously first component in this render cycle. Same with a fixed key. Um, that's why the state here doesn't update, even though the input property is different. Um, the same key just has uh, just just renders components here with a fixed key. The identity keys, this is the uh, proper keys here. Um, they just take the actual input data as the key. It's it's immutable. There might be better strategies to name a key, but for, for the purposes of this demonstration, this key is a proper identity. It identifies which element in the array we are. The random keys just pick a key at random. And the no keys just don't assign a key. And there's my, I just need to add something to let my linter, uh, to let this through my linter. Right, that's the entire demo. 